Gonzalez, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round five of the Las Vegas Open. It is the last and final ep- uh, ep- I was about to say episode. You know what? It is today's last episode of, <laughs> of, of X-Wing here. Um, we are playing with the... All right. For, for the first time, our, our table started first. <laughs> but we're, we're using the black box format right now. Black box format. If you want to check that out, that's on the Fly Better website. We have Mike Doyle versus Ryan Daniels, the Rebellion versus the Empire. Quite a, quite a few thematic matchups today, Will. Very thematic, yeah. By the way, I'm joined by Will. <laughs> I am here, Ryan. Yes, indeed. Very excited. I uh, love the convention atmosphere here. Everyone's just just so excited uh, to get in some X-Wing. Uh, it's, been, it's been too long for a lot of these players, so I uh, love to see everybody come back and join in in the fun. All right, we're going to break down these squads in a minute, but what we're going to do first... Uh, is we're going to open up that Choose Your Champion for everybody at home. So you can go ahead and place your bets. Will's going to break it down. It is time to choose your champion. Give him the thing. I'm going to give, give, I'm gonna give, do him, it. The, give him the thing. I'm going to do it. I'm doing <laughs> it. All right. There it comes. All right, Mike Doyle, on your left here, your bet one all champion. Uh, starting off with a named rebel salad uh, including some of my favorite pilots here we got jake ferrell uh, in the a-wing he loves uh, to boost and bear roll because it gives him and his friends extra focus tokens he's got with equipped with him starboard slash uh, which means if he goes through an enemy he can strain them uh, very, very cool there. Uh, no turret on this one. This is a Vector Thrusters Jake, so uh, would be performing barrel rolls, then boost to be handing out uh, tokens to friendlies there at range 0 to 1, or himself. Speaking of handing tokens to people, uh, we have Kyle Kratarn. He can throw out focus tokens at the start of combat to a ship in his fire and arc. He's got Hopeful, so if one of these other named pilots dies, he can boost or focus. He also has equipped there the Moldy Crow, so he can hold up to two focuses and get a primary firing arc out the front of a value of three. Along with him then, that, that big arc out there, that's going to be Nora Wexley. She gets free evade. Uh, results added if there's an enemy at range zero to one she has intimidation and zeb a beautiful combination so you can shoot at range zero and with intimidation reduce their rolled attack dice as well so really can just slam on in there get free evades reduce the enemy as uh, uh, agility and even has equipped here a shield upgrade so it goes up to four shields wedge uh, who is a I-6 X-Wing. Uh, when he attacks, the defender rolls one fewer dice. Uh, an amazing ability there. Has Predator for those bullseye re-rolls to be able to double modify his attack dice naturally without some sort of support from Kyle or Jake. Now, uh, interestingly enough, no Jen or so in this squad. We're, we're so used to seeing Kyle and Jen work together but without uh hera you know kyle out there is the the dealer where's the pit boss right telling you pretty good pretty good uh on the other side though ryan daniels rocking two defenders and a inquisitor we're gonna check on the inquisitor first uh that is the v1 with a force point mm -hmm. uh this one has equipped here instinctive aim and thread tracers so can even take the white evade action uh, or be able to just do a un an unlinked focus or, uh, what do I want to say? F uh, sorry, not focus, boost or barrel roll or even 
Uh, use that focus on defense before their initiative three. Uh, so be able to, uh, at all costs, fire the thread tracer. Fire that thread tracer. You 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 will do. You will do it. <laughs> you will do it. Uh, so then, uh, those defenders, they are Onyx Squadron Aces. Uh, these are the generic defenders with the talent slot. They have chosen to take Crack Shot, uh, which can re cancel an enemy's evade result if the shot is in the bullseye, and Fire Control System. Uh, one of my personal favorite upgrades to be able to save their locks and just uh, use them for a single reroll Keep instead. Keep rolling, baby. Yeah. Now I am sad. Uh, and there's two of these, obviously. Uh, I am a little sad that the Inquisitor is Initiative Three, so we'll fire be fire after the Onyx. Yep. So. And th that's the by going up to those initiative fours instead of going to the for the ones mm -hmm. you don't have that uh you don't have that synergy where you can fire the thread tracers first and then be able to follow up with the shots immediately this is going to be more of we're setting up a target lock now for a mm -hmm. shot later mm -hmm. i mean thread tracers are really really good as well because of the inquisitor's ability to get focus tokens so easily with their linked actions and it gives them a three dice gun that takes away the 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 range bonus. It's just it's just so easy to shoot. Uh, Fight tracers did recently go up in points, uh, probably deservedly so. T turn your mic a little bit down. What do you mean? Turn it down? Right there, right there. Point it towards me. We we were just we were we were, we were getting the full experience of your lungs. Oh. Okay. Oh, the breathing, I got you. <laughs> I think I smashed it when I set it down a, a bit ago. Let me readjust here. Okay. Uh, are you saying the Rebels should have no problem with this? I I disagree. Um, if, the, if the Onyx Squadrons can focus down either Jake or Kyle... Uh, they should have a, an easier time keeping mm. up with Nora and Wedge after that. I agree. Like, as long as you can stay out of range one, which you got white 4Ks, shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> uh, Correct. And uh, Wedge is defensively pretty weak, right? If he's just taking focus actions, uh, he's not doing his better maneuvers, and he's not modifying his offense mm -hmm. outside of uh, the one Predator reroll. So... It really is on Ryan, though. I do. I will say, Ali, I agree that it is his game to lose. Yep. He's got. He's got a lot of really good synergistic pieces. But you know what? Sometimes the tyranny of three agility does three agility show focus up. evade turns out pretty good sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he was mentioning that uh, he played Nick Sperry uh, last round or two rounds ago. And uh, his green dice were abysmal. Okay. So hoping for variants to swing the other way in this game. Wedge is uh, publicly public enemy number one. I would agree for for Ryan. He's gotta he's gotta see if he can get get that piece off the board. Though you know M Mike is flying in that traditional uh, is a looser block, not quite a block. But here we go. Uh, we're gonna have Mike be Ew. the first player. Don't you guys like like look, look at, at look this, at this look at this road boom. boom. Oh. <laughs> I, like so I'm kind of impressed with us. Not yeah, gonna lie, I think it's the, so clean. So the, clean. The, the the live player token switch is uh, go, g golden. Oh! <laughs> wow! <Yeah. laughs> I want to roll. I want to roll. All right. So <laughs> if we take a look at our uh, choose your champion betting, the betting closes in 40 seconds. Um, looks like the people who did participate have have. Mike Doyle as a strong favorite, 63% to 35. That's uh, that's pretty telling, and it's going to really come down to uh, to the priorities that Daniel ends up taking on the re the rebel side. I'm about to say the rebel, the rebel side. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see what the pieces end up doing. Uh, you you got to love how Travis Johnson tried to bait an argument out of somebody in the chat. That was great. I don't know if you guys, if you saw okay. saw that earlier, I, I just I just laughed when I saw it. I was, I was like, he's tr he's trying, he's trying to bait people into arguing. 
<laughs> oh, it was awesome. All right, here we go. We got the five straight coming from the Onyx Squadron Ace. Let's get that evade. Full throttle, baby. Full throttle. All right. Full sometimes. Now, what, el what else are you going to do? <laughs> and he's just going to drop the focus. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to hyperextend right now. This makes sense to me. Ozgal was complaining about it, but I think it's really nice. Like, you have the different routes you could take here. You could go forward and boost, right? Mm -hmm. These guys are coming in. There's this big open lane right here. Right? I think a majority of the engagement's going to be in the clouds. Mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful boost to keep up with the <laughs> other one. I don't think Travis was listening when uh, when I called him out for it. For <laughs> Fine. Try to try. I'm trying. He's he's dropping jokes. I'm trying to drop jokes. You got Oh, we didn't like up. with the defenders together. Oh, that's fair. Yep. I know this is scary though. I four. I four. I four. Who's blocking who? You know. Mm hmm. Really get some road action this game. Mm hmm. So, yeah. I remember Kyle's Kyle's set up for a good support here. Look at this. Look at this support arc he has. Anybody out here. He should be able to sling it all the way out to Jake as well. Who wants a focus? The quarterback himself. Yeah. This is... Uh, it, it's interesting. I wonder if Mike is prioritizing Wedge for the end game here. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Jake. Yeah, no gin, so going to always be a focus token. Jake with that starboard slash ready to set up some uh, some strains. Mm -hmm. Starboard slash. Oh, Travis Johnson said he'll be there at the Depticon. Nice. At the Gold Squadron Grand Championships. One for one there. One hit, one evade. And... He was checking this range to the yellow defender, but the green one uh, was in range. Single hit. Spend for two. And full string there. And next turn, I think it's going to be a big turn for uh, for Road. I think it's this the player order is really going to matter. Yeah, it's huge. Because obviously these guys want to to move at a three speed, right? And yep. And so we're looking at three banks. That's yeah. This is not the time. Obvious. This is not the time to uh, to be cute and try to do a one bank. I, d I don't think so. <laughs> at least uh, maybe it might save you from wedge. Or, or a slow Kyle as well. If Kyle only won forwards, the one bank could save you from that. Hard to say. Depends on if you... Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think that extends if you want to stand up. That's my, my legs are bothering me. It doesn't, doesn't go high enough. Okay, okay. Fair enough. It does only extend that high. <laughs> Okay, all right. I, I get for some reason I expected telescoping or telescopic, but it's fine. One bank them in. I mean, you wouldn't be blocked by Jake. You could range control Kyle and Wedge for one round. Mm -hmm. Is that worth it to you? Because, I mean, Nora's coming. Like, oh, she's a oh, coming. Oh, Lord, she comes. <laughs> like, she's got nothing to lose. Mm -mm. Only things to gain from uh, Intimidation Zeb Nora. Yeah, she loves being at range zero. Also, uh, and, and range one, being able to get that uh, evade bonus as well when other ships are, are firing at it. As long as you have a enemy ship at range zero to one you as the nora get to add add which yeah. is which is amazing add an evade result making that uh that 10 health ship really uh really last mm -hmm. that's better than a reinforce it's uh-huh pretty good <laughs> 
Yeah, and really taking a book out of uh, like Hera, Ghost Hera's playbook with the intimidation zeb. Uh, especially because you know, normally the problem is like, oh well, if I run into somebody, I don't. I'm shooting unmodified. Now it's Kyle around though. Kyle can always sling you that focus you need. And here we go, hit crit, hit crit on both sides for the road roll. I think Mike Doyle is going to be that first player. Okay. Jake has a chance to block them. All right. Was that a three? That's a four. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. Everybody's coming in. This is a tactical strike on a defender. Mm -hmm. I mean, you target lock, right? I mean, you, you are Kyle, I guess. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I want that double mounted shot, though. <laughs> Hard two. We, we are converging right in that spot you circled, Will. That, 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 <laughs> that is, is it right there. This is the engagement zone. Engagement zone. All right. All right. So, looks like G... Hmm. Oh, so Jake didn't want to be blocked. Didn't want to be blocked. Can a barrel? He's trying to set up a fully modded shot for Nora. Oh, uh, I mean you're gonna barrel roll. Give her, uh, give her focus. Barrel boost this way. No, just gonna sit there. Okay. Just sit this, just hang so out. Gives, gives up his own mod. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh Kyle, 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 Kyle hook, Kyle hook a brother. I'm that Kyle, that Kyle. What's up, Kyle? <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, fair enough. All right, what do you do here? Five straight. Ooh, okay. It's a bold one. Trying to skip over a Jake block. Mm -hmm. uh, getting a, getting out of this joust. <laughs> Maybe we they're, don't. They're joust. trying. They're trying. Uh, Want to joust? Yes, actually, not not really. I think you. Depending on, I w I'm checking Kyle's arc like this, right? Yep. If I can bear roll. To get a shot on Jake. Assuming Nora's going fast through that lane. Oh, he's boosting. Okay. Uh, so this this gets him next turn behind the squadron right, to start can, chasing Wedge. Because, yeah, you 4K and now you're shooting here, right? But I believe you're isolating this guy, though, by doing that. Yeah. Well, you might also be isolating this uh, this yellow defender right here. So he hard threed. Full throttle. Do you barrel out? Do you just target lock Kyle? No. Maybe not a fan of double modified attacks coming in from Nora. Did she do? She only. She did not do the stress maneuver. Okay. Just a uh, three straight. Just the three. Opening up uh, the 4K for next round. All right. Well, that's that might be a range one shot. Let's see. We're getting that target line. Yeah. Yeah. Which means now, with nobody really shooting Jake, Kyle's free to help out Wedge. He got wings closed. Yeehaw. Uh-oh. 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 Bonk. Is Kyle right zero? Kyle? Uh, Rain in zero is an arc, yeah. Yes, in your firing arc. I was gonna, I was just like trying to man. I'm very picture. We were talking about this. Uh, yeah. Uh, my brain works in pictures. Mine works can, in feelings. I couldn't picture <laughs> the numbers on Kyle's card. And right. It turns out because there is none. It's arc, which is by default zero to three. Mm -hmm. All right, first shot here. Kyle did pass that focus token over to Wedge. Got hit crit. Long range. And gonna get, dig in the first damage unless you spend the evade. Yeah, Does the evade. so burns the evade on the first try. There's always a chance you could natty the next attack. Mm -hmm. So spend it while you got it. Yeah, Nora here with a beautiful range one uh, double modified attack courtesy. Here we go. Jake. Oh, Nora with the shotgun. Didn't need it. Didn't Three need it. hits in a crit. I had the mods. I just wanted to know. I don't want it. 
And that right there, friends, that's going to be three damage in. You just you are one away from half on that that defender. That is the yellow defender. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and kind of has a problematic K turn next turn too, right? Well, well, yeah, because if Wedge does this, <laughs> that could be problematic. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So let's see who's next here then. Probably Jake. Oh, you know what? They're, they're right. Um, uh, they're mentioning uh, Wedge has Predator. He probably had the bullseye on. That may have been a, mm, a uh, missed true. opportunity there. It looks like it's a bullseye. Yeah, I would think so. Here's that defender back. Oh, Ryan Daniels checking the dice. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> They're just dice. Did you see all the time? Uh, hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, I bet he's a stat checker. <laughs> <laughs> Present dice statistics. <laughs> all, right. all right, here we go. We got to start with the trail mix. Spend for two. This is coming in from Kyle. Going at that same defender. And that focus ends up getting used. No problem. Uh, we should finish the round with a thread tracer. On to Nora, I assume. I guess you could shoot at Jake. Uh, all you need is... Uh, well, Nora does have the free of eight, though. I was going to say all he needs is two hits, but that's not exactly correct. Two okay. hits coming in here. All right, three ace chance for a blank. So that's the Nora evade. Yeah, no problem. Spend the focus. And EZ, baby. Okay. So... Shields down on the Onyx here. Man. One, one away from half. I mean... Uh, you can't really hard one this guy, can you? <laughs> Red hard one and be stressed and then, what, one bank the next round? That, uh... That that'd sounds be, terrible, right? That's not That's not good. <laughs> okay. So you, leave, so you probably 4K and then boost to be here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think you almost have to. Nobody's turning that way. You might have, like, Kyle's rear or side arc on you, but... Uh... And then, yeah, do you just leave this guy? Do you 4K here, or do you go here and leave? So, what, that's a risky, that'd be risky business. Wedge, just like one bank. I guess you could 4K and barrel roll towards Wedge. Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, and no, you can't, because Kyle's in the way. No, you can't. Kyle moves first. Kyle moves first. Okay, my, my plan does work. Uh, unless, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, unless Kyle, Kyle stops. Do, if Kyle does this, then he's doing weird things anyways. Ugh, I don't think he'd stop with only the one focus token. Kyle loves some focuses. Well, Ky Kyle does love his focus. I mean, I get it. He was bred for focus. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> but sometimes you got to leave home. <laughs> Take a risk. Come back in the door. Uh, yeah, and you also have there is there is a this is a three and this is a three as well. So we do have some interesting road there. Mm -hmm. If Kyle tries to go too fast, uh, this guy could be turning in as well. So end up a blocking some, situation. Yeah, a potential overlap there. Has anyone flown Vader Defender? Here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of Vader defenders. I wouldn't say a bunch. I would say about 
five or less today. Mm -hmm. Though the the best ranked Vader today is a TIE X1 Vader, mm -hmm. which we saw uh, um, Jesse flying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Jesse triple Van Aces. Week. Yep. Triple M paces. How many HMPs? Uh, I don't know. I didn't really see a lot. I think Separatist has gone on to Vulture Swarms and uh, Fire Spray Grievous plus one. Yep. Or if you're Duncan Howard, uh, Django Mall. Fire Spray and shoot twice to try to clear the board. All right, and it looks like... So it's switching over to Ryan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Movie magic. All right, here we go. So it looks like Ryan moving first here, turning in with that one hard with a tie X1, tie V1, excuse me. We unfortunately do not have a link to lists because they were not digitized when they were turned in. They're working on it. Uh, oh, he's, he's going that way to block the 4K. All right, Kyle. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, a, three, a three straight could be interesting from the defender. You would land right behind it. Uh huh. I assume we're going to see. A focus rotate, yeah, and face it this way so you get this arc. Should still cover Nora up here, plus wherever Jake and Wedge go. And it looks like we're rotating towards the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who's up next here? The Onyx. Where's, where's he going? Where's he going? What's on that dial? Oh, they didn't send this to us. Why would they not send this to us? Uh, I mean, I mean they, they've been working on it. I, you told them to email you or yeah. put it on Discord. Did you check your Discord? I thought I did. Hey, he didn't send it. See? Not my fault. Oh, rude. <laughs> Let me, let me check Facebook Messenger. Was it in Facebook? Nope, yeah, not my fault. All right, well, we will, uh, I mean, that's, I mean, I don't know about unofficial. That's not quite the right word, but. In, uh, incomplete. We'll that's say. right. Incomplete for now. Yeah, one of the things I, I, I will tell you that I'm trying to solve for uh, Adepticon is we're planning on using um, tabletop.to mm -hmm. um, is specifically like check-in to like know who's there. I guess we would just do a player meeting and that's how, that's the answer, right? Just drop from there. I mean, only open up the tournament the day of. Maybe <laughs> that might that might cause more problems. That cause, so. might, might cause problem, more problems. Rather have people time to do things. Be we we, we got to have our stats and stuff. We're, we're, or think, they could they could sign up and you only approve them that morning. That's that they check in. But that, well that that's the thing, is yeah we we still have to do that part. And I was hoping to just avoid that part. Right. Okay, fair enough. All right, to, to avoid the approval. Because it is a ticketed event, so it's you know, still trying to figure it out. It'll be okay. Yeah. Nothing we can't overcome. So Nora still has that lock. Ooh, just went one forward. One forward, okay. kept, kept it classic. Okay. I think may, may have been worried about the the like tie bank the, or something? the tie V one doing something cheeky. Okay, yeah. All right, she is looking for the bump, right? Yeah. So, oh, Cisco action, paying it forward, dropping some subs here in the chat. Thank you so much. 
You guys have destroyed the goal. We're at 283, 100 over our top goal. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And there is a target lock set out there on the yellow defender. Yep, got that focus from uh, Kyle. And this might be good night. This is, this is, this is wet Wedge coming in. Onyx coming in to steal, kill, and destroy. Double focus for Wedge. One from Jake and one from Kyle. Hey, thank you, VIP. Aces, X-Wing. We are trying our best here. And there we go. Woo. Three oh. hits and a crit. And that's a... Uh, well, I don't know if he's dead, actually. Uh, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's limping. He had, he had four... Hurt. Uh, before you're right. He's looking looking for looking for the direct here Wait, no, he evaded one he evades this one Shield Paul Paul I guess I'll, I'm gonna ask him I guess Let me check on it because it he, he pulled the direct hit he, Was just, it a he just pulled the direct hit. Okay, okay. I mean, that's what I assume. I foresaw it. You foresaw? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, because he didn't doesn't have a face-up damage card. Hit crit coming in from Mike Doyle. There's the, there's the natties. Ah, no problem. <laughs> Folks are saying that Nora, not Nora, Jake sh might... Need to be stressed. Uh, these are Jake's tokens, actually. Whoops. Kyle slung this one, I believe, over to there. I believe so. Anyways, well, I know that this—that's his stress. So, Mike. Mike, there's you have some tokens kind of floating. I think that's Jake's stress. Okay. All right, cool. We got it. So I don't know where the extra focus came from, but Yeet. it's fine. Might have been Kyle slinging it to him, thinking he didn't have a modifier. Yeah. Either way. We did it. <laughs> Game state. Why Jake stress? Well, he focus boosted, mm -hmm. and then because of the boost action, gave the focus to Wedge. So that's, uh, man, when you really go deep into the, the Jake options of what you can do, it'll just be a regular A-wing for a second with a coordinate. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, extremely limited coordinate, right? But yeah, still very powerful. Wedge has made many a person sad. Uh, sorry. Um, I mean, yeah, that's true too. That's true. <laughs> that's such a Nothing wrong Jake, about that, actually. Uh, Jake, which is how maneuverable those little A-wings can be and how they can just dish out those focus tokens okay. whenever they feel like yeah. it. Uh, especially with uh, like B wings and X wings, mm -hmm. with their foils closed, where you can focus into reposition. Oh yeah, man, really you can catch your opponent off guard. When all of a sudden, I, when wedge boosts at I four, hit crit. Looks like one more damage going through this round, uh, and that's yeah. going into the V one. That's the, from Kyle, I guess. Yep, Kyle at the side arc. Is this the overlay? Yep. So one on Nora. Mm hmm Which we didn't we didn't do. So because she, she's got a shield upgrade. Oh. Ooh, shield upgrade. Okay. Blanks here and Kyle will take a single hit then too. 
So Wedge is down one, Shield, not Kyle, excuse me. Shot into Wedge. Uh, which is probably fair. I mm -hmm. mean, <laughs> he just killed a ship. <laughs> So a reminder that tomorrow we have more Swiss rounds of X-Wing. Depending on how many players are available to play tomorrow, we'll either have another five or six rounds of Swiss happening. And then, of course, on Saturday, the top cut, and we will end up crowning our Fly Better Open champion. Las Vegas Open, Fly Better Open. <laughs> it's synonymous. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's probably Brought like... Brought to you by Frontline Gaming, ran by Fly Better, streamed by Gold Squadron. Sponsored by Curlball <laughs> Creatives. Use that coupon code <laughs> LVO22 for 22% off. Get yourself some X-Wing swag. And for those of you who are getting into painting, or maybe you're a painter already and you're looking for a way to organize your paints, uh, Andrew from Curl Park Creators came up with this awesome uh, painting station that holds brushes, bottles of different types. Uh, really awesome. Go ahead and check it out, curlpawcreatives.com. And it looks like, is that boost going to fit? I think so. Oh, yeah. Now, that's his maneuver. Oh, uh, it's, it's a two bank, right? No, one no it's a one bank. One bank. It's oh, yeah. Have you, have you once got those beautiful one banks? Yes. I have begun to very much appreciate a ship who can uh, one bank and five forward boost. Oh, yeah. Very few ships. I think they're all Empire. <laughs> oh, no, the E-Wing. The e, e, the e wings not a real ship anymore. Oof. Got he was him. in a Poe comic. Come on, that's canon, yeah. right? <laughs> Sorry, it's extended only. Um, extended. A legacy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a legacy ship. Uh, yes. A ship I haven't heard from. In <laughs> <laughs> long time. All righty. So Kyle moves up. We got that arc on the back. Set up another target lock there. Kyle looking to be fully modified. I don't need no more stinking focus. I'm here to I'm here to slap people around. Three hard coming in. Free evade from the full throttle ship ability. I mean, is the, is the plan to, to come so and converge here? Did he bump? I think they ruled that it was a bump, right? On the V1? Yeah. Um, oh. uh, there's no, there is no tokens out there. I think you're right. Chase Baffle said, this is making me super high for Adepticon. You should be high for Adepticon. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, please don't. Okay. We've got space there. All right. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> not, not again. Not the board edge. <laughs> not like this. Yeah, guys. And I, I'm excited for Adepticon for many reasons. And... One oh that barrel row. spicy. Jake, so good. One of the reasons being that there's a good chance we will have the scenario play active at Adepticon. Ooh, that's right. Yeah. Not only new ships, I had somebody asking about the Mandalorian uh Razor Crest plus the the two other, the Gauntlet and the Pride of Mandalore. Yeah, the Pride of Mandalore pack. Basically, the call I'm making is if those cards come out within a week of Adepticon, it's, it's live. We're doing it. That's fair. Yeah. It was one, fair. one week. That gives one week to get it into Yasby, make double check the points, get it onto tabletop.to, and and then we, we fight. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, AMG does remember that we are doing a depth account, so they can. <laughs> I think. I think. Can, I mean, accordingly. Hopefully, hopefully we, we, you know, we should have it sometime in February. 
and uh, get those spicy points updates. See, you know, one thing, because especially I'm going to be coordinating a lot of the, a lot of the stuff going on at, at Adepticon. I'm going to have to delegate a lot of stuff because I, I think I, I want to be behind the microphone because I want to watch these scenarios play out. I, I want to see, I want to see how it's going to change people's flight paths and their their wind conditions sure. and stuff like that. Because there's oh, going to be sure. so much more stuff to look for. Well, we were... Let's see. Norn didn't do anything, did she? No, she did clip that. Inquisitor for one. Or it's already down one. I think it went down another. Yeah, that must be the second one. I can't see. Curl Paul is in the way. Yeah. Yep, shield's down. Okay. Shield's down. Uh, one hit here from the defender into the hawk. One evade. Easy. Let's see what Jake has to say about it. Range one into a defending and evading defender. Spend for three. <laughs> Jake the snake. I'm going to bite them ankles. Oh, oh not no so problem. much. No problem. Got the squiggles you needed. I think that was about the expected result there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh... Why is yellow still in the overlay? I'm sorry. You're right. Oh, that would be why. There you go. There you go. Goodbye. F's um, in the chat. But yeah, we are going to be running uh, side events, hangar bays. Uh, I believe we plan on doing another style of event as well. We have um, a redemption event for the, on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, simultaneous with the cut then. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, there'll be plenty of opportunities to test out the new stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, Kyle, range one here. Double uh, squiggles. Uh, hey, Inquisitor survives. Oh, he's got the force. Oh no, he's, he's his force is drained. So he's he's down to one hole now. So Wedge only has only taken a single shield worth of damage. Nora um, has only lost a shield upgrade. Kyle Katarn looking uh, healthy, minus one shield, and uh, and Jake. Jake's just being a happy little A wing. Yep, doing a great job baiting, threatening with road as well. Uh, that's that's the kind of uh, feints and. Uh, what do I want to say? Uh, like pos trickery positioning uh, that you need to put onto your opponent in this road environment. Mm -hmm. Get them to question your maneuvers uh, in addition to their own on those overlapping initiatives. You can really uh, start messing with people's idea of the best maneuver. Yep. Current score, 100 to 0. One question that we did ask earlier, I mean, I would love to to have this discussion now, is uh, if you had made it to LVO with these X-Wing 2.25 rules uh, in place, what would, you, uh, what would you have brought? What would you have brought with you? You got to lo lo love our guy over here rocking the same team T-shirt. You didn't hear me. <laughs> as a GS, that, that's, Respect. As a GSP design. <laughs> I mean, so who who is it? For shame. Oh, it's Paul Heaver. Don't make me shame you, Paul Heaver. What, 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 this isn't this isn't a uh, a scoop and get dinner match. No. Uh, there's still 30 minutes left. It depends. You know what? There's. It, it's interesting. I actually had this discussion with Devin. All right. Mm -hmm. This is uh, <laughs> like um, she she's got. This is gonna sound really silly, but I promise that it, it's gonna all connect. So uh, she's gotten really into Pokemon Go. Okay? okay. And there's like a battle league set like part of the game, and you know she's never done competitive gaming before. 
and she was getting frustrated because she would like be obviously winning and people would quit the like they basically would concede before right. the game was over mm-hmm. yeah and you know if you're not it's not satisfactory it, right exactly and she, like, we were having a discussion and i was i was uh, she was asking why i was like well if it's inevitable people are just saving their time by not finishing the fight um, that's one way to look at it. She goes, she goes, but I don't do that. And I was like, well, that's because you want, that's part of your you want the experience. It's a right, that, the win. Ex- exactly. It just depends on what, what is your, your personal preference and how you like to game. So it is what I mean, it is. I mean, Ryan has two of the most defensive ships in the, uh, mm-hmm. Imperial faction. If not, well, I guess force is pretty good. Mm-hmm. A force Ada probably better than uh, focus evade or evade single force. But in the at least in the Empire, these are some of the most defensive ships. Yeah. The problem is the damage output right now. Inquisitor's not shooting. Uh, I feel like. I feel like Wedge is going to be able to arc dodge green here. Oh, yeah. Nor two forwards and might not even be in range. Oh, yeah, should be. Should be, actually. Nora. Should have a downtown shot. Yep. I know. That I'm getting used to the camera angles. But I'll tell you this way. Here's the ranges. These are all range threes. <laughs> so once you've once you've gone past, assuming this is cornered, right? Right. So range three would be about here. So yeah, he's shooting into the middle of the board. Shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. Nine ranges. If you never thought about it, the whole mat is nine ranges by nine ranges. Mm-hmm. That means that your range ruler is a foot long. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient. Uh huh. Left in the round. Twenty-eight minutes left in the round. All right, here we go. We engaging, and it looks like Wedge Wedge just opted into the fight. Yeah, he's ready. Nothing to lose. Here we go. He's got a lock out there. Swing and smack it. Three hits and a crit from Wedge into that green defender, and that's going to be three, so I don't know, two damage going in. That's two shields down. Okay. This should be Nora then. At ease. Hit crit, crit. Oh, all right. Well, both those going through. You can't, you can't stop them. Shields down onto the fender. You can see Ryan, Ryan's looking, feel, feeling a little defeated. Let's talk about the body language. Yeah, Ryan. He was, as I mentioned before, he was kind of frustrated with his variance in the last mm-hmm. match, but. I mean, that's three agility for you, man. Even if you do get focus evade, uh, can't always do anything. Can't repel fire of that magnitude. Right? Oh, uh, yeah, there's really no way, because, like, elusive doesn't really work on the these defenders, right? Mm-mm. Lone Wolf doesn't make it much sense. You couldn't bring two of them anyways. Oh, just hot fire. I'm like, get out of here. Three more hits. That's coming from Jake into the Inquisitor, I believe. Yeah, it should be. Uh, no problem for the Inquisitor. You got it. Focus... Uh, force evade or just the evade takes one and dies that, that can't be right he might not that can't be right he's gone he, what did he spend the force on he didn't spend the force huh. oh, okay maybe we missed something alright 161 to 0 and it comes down to a single defender with three hull left One hit, 
Out of the four, spins for three. He's able to do a big swing into Wedge. Wedge gets natties and only takes one. Okay, okay, Var variance. All right, we'll give we'll give him that one. <laughs> uh, Mike Doyle just natting almost every single roll that round. The dice giveth and taketh away. Yeah, I mean, that's true. It is a game of positioning, but also... <laughs> but also, yes. The dice help. Oh, right. I'll say that much. Mm -hmm. They really can save you. Mike needs his dice check. It turns out they were my dice the whole time, boys. Okay, fair enough. All right. Uh, maybe, maybe we do... Is that another damage that just went through? This is Kyle shooting... And he blanked out. He must have spent the focus on offense. Yeah, he did to get the three hits. And that's GG. Yeah, hey, he's calling it. There it is. Congratulations. Mike Doyle uh, commandingly winning round five of the Fly Better Open here, taking place at the Las Vegas Open. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.